This is my review of the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro bunched together. These are the top five things I love and the top five things that I hate about these phones. Yo, I don't want to be called an Apple fanboy, so let's start with the top five things that I hate. Number one, battery life is not that great. It's kind of trash, to be honest. I do a lot of mobile gaming, social media surfing, I do a lot of YouTube content watching, and of course, binging things like Netflix, YouTube TV, etc. And my battery life on these phones hasn't been very good. It's pretty similar to my 11 Pro, which has been pretty trash. The iPhone XR was the last phone where I felt like I had some great battery life. Number two, I'm not a fan of the size. And if you didn't know, the 12 and the 12 Pro are exactly the same size and exactly the wrong size. Number three, I'm not a huge fan of the pricing on these phones at all. If you didn't know, 999 is what it'll run you for the base 128 gigabyte iPhone 12 Pro. But if you want to get the 128 gigabyte iPhone 12, it costs about 879, which is only about a hundred dollar difference. I feel like that price difference is kind of unfair, kind of makes you want to jump up to the pro, but also wants you to save some money. It's just a weird pricing bracket. I'm not a huge fan of the price. I'm pretty excited about the cheaper 12 mini, but I'm also excited about the 12 Pro Max with all the extra features, which also comes with the extra price. But I think those pricing brackets just make more sense than the 12 and the 12 Pro. In my personal opinion, if you're debating between the 12 and the 12 Pro, go for the Pro. Number four, I despise the part glossy, part matte finishes of these phones. I absolutely love that the 12 Pros have a matte back. I despise the glossy sides and vice versa. I despise the glossy back that's a fingerprint magnet on the 12s and I love the matte sides. So what the heck, Apple, can you just give me a phone that's all matte? That's all any of us ever want. And number five, the thing I arguably hate absolutely the most is the fact that this is still a lightning port product. Why are we not USB-C yet? This is 2020, the big year, iPhone 12, everybody was thinking they would go USB-C and they did it. Before we jump into the top five things that I love about these phones, don't turn away from this because this is something you need. Whether you're a case lover or a case hater, you're gonna wanna hear this because the Lucid Clear is so nice and minimal and does not have that giant halo ring. Those of you that hate phone cases are still gonna love this one because of how minimalistic it is. Trust me, my brother's one of those purists that absolutely hate cases, but even he loves this. The fact that it doesn't yellow, that it's actual hard plastic, that it covers 360 degrees, unlike Apple's very own case, that does not protect the bottom of your phone and the fact that it doesn't have that disgusting MagSafe halo. And guess what? MagSafe still works. Yeah, you want this. Next, for those of you like myself that absolutely love minimalism but want just a little bit of protection, the sheath is for you. They got tons of different colors. I love this grippy texture so much more than Apple Silicon texture and the fact that all these port cutouts, all the buttons are perfect for your new iPhone 12 and 12 Pro is also amazing. I love that Kadabi keeps their branding minimal so that you can just enjoy the phone, enjoy the awesome colored cases they have, and you just can't beat their price to quality ratio. Six foot drop protection covers the lip of your phone so nicely and the camera bump of your phone. Don't go buy a thousand dollar phone and drop it or let it get all scratched up in your pocket without protecting it. Now the first thing that I absolutely love about the 12 and the 12 Pro is the new or the old squared off rectangle design throwback to the 4s 5s the phones that we all love let's be honest oh i have missed you and yes it does stand up on a table all on its own you know for those youtubers that usually put salt shakers or something behind it to get that sweet b-roll number two magsafe amazing as someone who hates wireless charging and how sometimes I wake up with my phone not charged, sometimes taking me two minutes to try to find where on the charging pad my phone fits, wireless charging with MagSafe is amazing. And if you didn't know, the MagSafe charger is just a Qi charger that will also work on any of your other wireless charging Qi devices also. Number three, I love me some of those brand new colors. That Pacific blue, the blue, the green. My favorite is the new mint green, in my personal opinion, Novatech green. You guys gotta pick that one up because if I get that 12 mini, I'm going for that green one. So yeah, number three, I love me those new colors. Number four, the new ceramic, harder to shatter screen. You gotta always love when they give you tougher glass, tougher screens, that'll protect your phone a little bit more because the Lord knows that we drop our phones 
all the time, people. And in my opinion, the screens are getting way better because last year with the 11 Pro was the first year that I had never ever put a screen protector on my phone. Shout out Apple for the new screen. I feel like number five is kind of an obligatory one, but shout out five for 5G, that these new iPhones support 5G because in my local area, we've actually been seeing 5G towers going up. So I'm pretty excited for that new standard to come out. I was so excited when 4G and LTE came out and my phone started getting faster and faster. So shout out Apple, love that this is 5G supported. Drop a comment below. What's the thing you love most about these iPhone 12s and 12 Pros? And what's the thing that you absolutely hate about them? I'd love to chat with you guys in the comments below. If you didn't know, you guys need to hit that subscribe button because over 90% of you viewers aren't subscribed. So let's get this channel to 50,000 subscribers. Hit that like button because at 50,000, I think I'm giving away more than just an iPhone. Sick.